Good morning, everyone. I thought I would show you how unhappy, <laughs> how unhappy the boys are. Well, I don't know what they're doing right now. <laughs> Even Kitten's unhappy with me. Are you unhappy with me, Kitty? They're unhappy because I cannot feed them breakfast right now. <laughs> you got a toy? I can't feed them breakfast right now because Mozzie here has to go to the animal surgical center and get some blood. Yes, he has to get some blood work done. And they don't understand why they're not eating breakfast because for this blood test, um, I guess he has to fast for it. I didn't realize that until they called me um, and uh, told me when they reminded me of my appointment. So it's a different kind of blood work he's getting done today. So, <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna be pacing and following me around, wondering why they're not eating. But Magnum was sitting in front of his bowls for like 10 minutes just a minute ago. Of course, as soon as I turn on the camera, he leaves. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta get myself ready and get Mazi to the doctor. I have an audience. Oh, now they're leaving me. I had an audience because I'm not feeding them. I'm blow drying my hair. <laughs> they're like, why aren't you feeding us, Mom? Oh, they're at their clean. Let's go see. Let's go see what they're doing. What's going on out here? What's going on out here? They come, they sit on the rug and stare at me, and then they run out here and play. Then they come back, stare at me, wonder why I'm not feeding them, and they come back out here and play. Especially Mr. Marley right here. Yes. Especially Mr. Marley. Keep jumping on my legs saying, Mom, I'm begging. I'm begging. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank goodness they only have to wait till 11. When I leave at 11 with Mozzie, my daughter's going to come out and feed them when we leave. So, you only got to wait about an hour and a half. Yes, about an hour and a half, Marley. You ready to go to the doctor? Are y'all ready to go to the doctor? Yes? I have to show you guys the uh, pretty colors over here. I wish these trees were in my backyard so I could take a picture of the boys with these pretty orange and yellow leaves. So pretty. All right. Let's get you to the doctor and get your blood drawn. Let's hope for good results, right? Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to head to the surgical center. You better sit down. He has a seatbelt tether on. I found that um, Betty's sitting on TJ Maxx. You uh, hook it up with your seatbelt, and it has a seatbelt tether on it. Um, and he probably should be in the back seat, but... Ozzy loves being up by me. I thought I'd show you some of the colors. Yes, I wish those trees were in my backyard. <laughs> I don't know though. I don't know if I'd want all the mess of the leaves. Ooh, I really need to get a camera holder for my car. All right, on our way to the surgical center. Okay, we're here, Mozzie. I think we're gonna park way down here. Cause we're a little early. And that way you can go potty. I can let you go in the grass and go potty. Yes. <laughs> it's like, where are we, Mom? Where are we? Somewhere I don't wanna be. It's not a McDonald's drive-thru or a Dairy Queen drive-thru going on <laughs> well guys I had to leave Mozzie there 
I have to leave them there for two hours. I didn't know um, when they told me they wanted to do another blood work check um, for today, the last time we were there, I didn't realize they were going to be doing something called a, oh, here it is right here. Um, bile acids panel. So, and here's what a bile acid panel costs, $80, and then they're doing a, some other kind of blood work, some full panel blood work for $165, and then the recheck exam, $50, bucks. so <laughs> grand total, $295 when I pick them up. Anyways, um, I didn't realize they were doing that today. So what it is, is they um, feed him a little bit of high fat food. Um, they said it's just like a teaspoon or whatever, because I kind of thought, well, you know, I feed him a low fat diet for a reason, because they're prone to pancreatitis. And she's like, oh yeah, yes they are, she said, but I will talk to her about that. She said it's just a small amount and then they sit and have them wait, they draw more, they draw blood, and then it checks to see how um, all his things are, how all the organs are functioning, um, processing that, I guess. Um, so. so anyways, yeah, I felt bad because I had to leave him there. <laughs> I didn't think I was leaving him there, but it's only for two hours. So I'm gonna go check my P.O. box because it says I have a couple packages and, um, probably head home and then pick him up at what time is it it is 11 39 so I'll be back here at 1 39 to pick him up so and I'll let you guys know um how it went all right I'm on my way back to the surgical center to get Mozzie and see what they say I'm actually going a little early because my stepmom is actually up there with her Springer Spaniel who's been having problems with nosebleeds. Um, so he's up there and they're doing a CT scan and um, something else. She said she was gonna be up there for a bit, wondering when I was coming back up. So I'm going up a little bit earlier so I can uh, talk to her and see what's going on with Stanley, what they're thinking. Um, or maybe they don't know and that, you know, maybe they don't have any ideas in this. I think she said they were also doing rhinoplasty. Um, I thought that was actually when they're actually doing like a, for people, like a nose job to help them breathe better. So I'm not sure. She said whatever it is, it's costing her three grand. Can you believe that, you guys? Three grand. Um, so yeah, I'm going up a little early so I can talk to her uh, before Mozzie's done. So, all right, I will check back in after I get Mozzie's results and I have Mozzie in the car. Okay, we got Mr. Mozzie Bear. Yes, we do, Mr. Mozzie Bear. He says he's ready to go home. He's missed two meals now. <laughs> he missed his breakfast and lunch and he's starving, he says. <laughs> okay, so um, they said I they won't be able to give me the results probably till tomorrow. Um, they didn't have them in yet. Um, and the doctor was really busy, so they said they'd probably give me a call tomorrow. So I'll have to let you guys know in a different video the results. But, and I was talking to my um, stepmom for a while in the waiting room. And of course, as soon as I left, because I was there for about a half hour after I got Mozzie, sitting talking to her, and I was waiting for them to give me some, I uh, forgot I needed some medication for Mozzie. Um, couple of the pills that he has to take uh, for the rest of his life due to his gallbladder being removed. Um, I was talking to her and I was kind of waiting with her because um, they were doing the CT scan on her dog, Stanley, and um, I was kind of waiting with her because I know she was probably very nervous because she was worried there was going to be a tumor, a mass of some sort um, causing the nosebleeds. Um, and of course, as soon as I left, the um, lady came out to tell her they did not find a mass and they did not find any foreign objects up his nose <laughs> so they were moving on to the um, rhino rhinoplasty um, I guess they put a scope up there and search around to see what they could find they there could be a polyp or something like that um, that is causing his nosebleeds so um, 
So good news so far for her um, that there was no mass or anything found during the CT scan. Um, bad news is how much money she's got to pay for all of this. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to go home and feed Mozzie because he's starving to death. <laughs> and, um, and we will talk to you guys in the next video and I'll let you know the results then. Okay guys, have a good day. Bye.